The U.S. Navy's Zumwalt-class missile destroyers held so much promise when they were being designed. However, a changing world environment combined with massive cost increases in the ship's design led to the number of ships being reduced from 32 down to just three ships, leading to a much higher than planned per unit cost. In addition, the failure of the advanced gun system, which the ships were designed around, led to many believing that the Zumwalt program was a multi-billion dollar boondoggle and a colossal failure. However, the U.S. Navy has a plan that could potentially redeem the Zumwalts and make them a more effective combat platform. Can hypersonics redeem the Zumwalts? Let's examine this question. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. Before we learn about how hypersonics can possibly redeem the Zumwalts, make sure you stick around to the end of the video when we will reveal a second proposed update for the Zumwalts. Now, on to today's video. With the failure of the advanced gun system, which was due to the cancellation of its custom-guided round, the long-range land attack projectile, the Zumwalts found themselves armed with guns that had no ammunition. In addition, the Zumwalts' original land attack mission no longer existed with the end of the War on Terror. Having invested many billions of dollars into the Zumwalt program already, the U.S. Navy was looking for a way to get their money's worth and redeem the Zumwalts with improved warfighting capability. In 2021, the U.S. Navy decided to turn the Zumwalts into blue water combatants by retrofitting them with long-range hypersonic weapons. A hypersonic weapon chosen for the Zumwalts was the Conventional Prompt Strike, or CPS, missile which the U.S. Navy was co-developing with the U.S. Army. See our previous video on the Zumwalts to learn more about the CPS missile. As the CPS missiles were much larger in diameter than existing missiles in the U.S. Navy's inventory, they could not fit within the Zumwalts' existing Mark 57 peripheral vertical launch system. As a result, a new system was designed to accommodate the CPS missiles. This new system is the Advanced Payload Module, or APM. The APM is a three-round variant of the seven-round multiple all-up round canister that currently equips Virginia-class SSNs and Ohio-class SSGNs. The APM is an 87-inch module that can house three CPS missiles. The plan is to replace both of the advanced gun system mounts and their associated systems with four APMs for a total loadout of 12 CPS missiles per ship. The Zumwalt class will be the first platform to field the CPS missile. The USS Zumwalt, DDG-1000, is set to arrive at Ingalls Shipbuilding in Pascagoula, Mississippi, in late 2023 to start a modernization period. USS Michael Mansour, DDG-1001, will follow Zumwalt to Ingalls for its own modernization period that will include installing the missile tubes. It's unclear if the third Zumwalt-class ship, USS Lyndon B. Johnson, DDG-1002, which is currently at Ingalls, will also have the missiles installed as part of its combat system's activation period. The USS Zumwalt is planned to re-enter the fleet in 2025. Now, let's learn about that second proposed update to the Zumwalts that I promised earlier. The U.S. Navy is eyeing a new improvement program focused on swapping various components from the Zumwalt-class destroyer to make the warship have more in common with the rest of the surface fleet, the latest potential changes for an expensive program already under the Congressional Microscope. The service's Chief Ship Acquisition Agency, Naval Sea Systems Command, initiated the nascent idea, dubbed the Zumwalt Enterprise Upgrade Solution, or ZEUS, with a public request for information to industry on November 17, 2022, just days after the Navy was celebrating the Zumwalt's first successful employment, during which it visited both the U.S. 3rd Fleet and the U.S. 7th Fleet. According to the U.S. Navy, potential elements being considered in the upgrade include the Surface Electronic Warfare Improvement Program, the SQQ-89 Undersea Warfare Combat System, and the Cooperative Engagement Capability, a capability that effectively communicates data between the ship's radars and the fire control systems. The service's notice also says the U.S. Navy is assuming changes to the ship's topside design will be minimal, if anything. The warship's mission will remain surface strike, and the Zumwalt Spy-3 radar would be replaced with the Spy-6V3, both of which are made by Raytheon. Responses were due December 16, 2022. Requests for information are inherently tentative by design, meaning the notice's publication does not necessarily mean the warship will undergo any changes. 
I hope you enjoyed learning about the upcoming and proposed upgrades to the Zumwalt class missile destroyers that will hopefully redeem these ships and make them more effective warfighting vessels for the United States Navy. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help the channel grow and thanks for watching.